what's up and welcome back to my channel. So you guys have been kind of asking me for a while to do an updated brow routine and at first I was kind of thinking like no, only because A, I hate my brows. I have the worst brows in the world. They are completely uneven. So I was like no, I'm just like I hate my brows. Like I don't want to show you guys how I do them because it's not even like they're going to look like perfect or even. They're not going to be like amazing brows. But then I was like um, hello, we're not all a bunch of little freaking Barbie dolls walking around with perfect little brows. So yes, they're uneven. They might not be perfect and that's okay because we're just normal chicks trying to draw on some damn eyebrows. It's not a big deal. We're not going to get a Grammy for it. We're not going to get a award at the end of the day. So let's just throw those brows on and get to what we got to do. So that's just more or less what this is. It's my quick go-to brow routine. It's not a lot of fuss, not a lot of glamour. Let's get into it. So usually this is what I mainly use. This is the NYX Cosmetics Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I love it because A, it's affordable and it works just as good as the Anastasia one in my general opinion. So I'll start at the front of my brows and you'll notice I kind of work on both brows at the same time. And also if I get a little smudge, I'll just wipe it off with my finger like NBD. But I like to start at the bottom of my brow right in the front and kind of work back towards my tailbone. I find that when you work on both brows at once, you, it, you're more likely to get a more even set of brows. It's not like you have one perfect brow and then you go try to recreate that brow and it's like you can't ever get it, you know what I mean? So I feel like when I start on one brow and then I follow up on the other brow and I keep going back and forth, my hand really learns and starts to mimic the movement that I'm doing on each eye. So it just kind of remains more consistent. But this is what I'll do. I'll start at the bottom underneath and I'll kind of create my base. I have one tail that doesn't have enough hair on one end and one tail that has too much hair. So it's a total balancing act. I'll just kind of go back and forth. A real quick trick I'll use with my NYX brow is I'll try and match the front part of my brow to the white line. I'll try and match basically the arch up with my white line so that I know that I have the exact same amount of space on each eyebrow to make them even before my arch because it's the worst when you have like one brow that has like a high arch and one that doesn't. So I try to use guides as much as possible. So now I'll just kind of keep working back and forth and kind of trying to create a better tail for me because they're a little splotchy. And then from there I'll kind of start going and filling in on the top and still just dragging my pencil through. It's difficult if you have brows like mine that are very splotchy in very random areas. It doesn't give you the best guide to go along, so that's why I really recommend doing both brows at once so you really kind of get the hang of what you're looking for on both. Once I kind of feel like I have a general good filling in my brows, I'll apply a little bit of pressure to the bottom layer of my brow as well as my tail because I want that really defined. And then I'll go back in with feather light strokes and brush up at the top of my brow because I, I don't need that to be real dark. And then take your spoolie and start blending out the product so you don't have any thick groups of coloring. It will look less fake this way. My tails probably take me the most amount of time because they're the most kind of fudged up things. So just be patient, take your time, make sure you're looking back and forth on both brow. This can be really annoying for some people, but I really do prefer to use this. So I'll always take a lighter concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I just like it because my brows are so uneven that the pencil can be very obvious in the spots where I don't have any hair at all. So I try and make it as smudge proof and as seamless as possible. Um, it just makes it look a lot better. Underneath my brows where I'll use the most product too because I also like to double that concealer as kind of a under eye brow highlighter. If I'm not doing much shadow or just in general, I really like it to be bright underneath there. So I'll just kind of keep smoothing and creating my shape. And then after that, we just need to take a brow gel. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. In my opinion, it holds hair up the best. It's like the strongest power gel. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it, it gets a little crispy and I kind of like that. Like I want my brows to not move at all. Okay fam and that is it for my easy peasy quick brow routine. I hope you guys like this. Make sure you stay tuned for another new video tomorrow and come hang out with me on Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram. I love you guys. Bye. Bye.